So diagnosing communication problems on a vehicle network can be a little bit of a challenge if you're not sure how to hook up or what you're really looking at. Really the only way you can test a CAN network is by using a lab scope. So I'm going to go over here and uh, show you how we can test it and how the pattern is supposed to look. Okay, so as you can see here, we have both our channels hooked up to a DLC breakout box. Now all that is is it's got a short cord that plugs into the DLC and it breaks out to a box that has 16 individual banana jacks. And you can plug in to channel 6 and 14 if it's a CAN network vehicle, because uh, all CAN network vehicles, that's a standard, they have to terminate on pin 6 and 14. And then pins 4 and 5 are also ground, so you can see we have the ground plugged into pin 4 on this vehicle. Now looking back over here to the, to the lab scope here, how it's set up, you can see both channels are set to 10 volt scale, so that'll give us a nice good, good size window. And then we have to set our time base down to 100 microseconds. That's 100 millionths of a second wide. That's a pretty short amount of time. We're dealing with some really fast stuff here. So let me pause it and then I will make some measurements and we can see what we're talking about here when we're transmitting data. So all these little squares here, these are what they would call data packets. This is the data going back and forth between computers. Now it really doesn't matter what's inside those data packets, it's just a matter of a few different voltages that we want to see. So we see here on cursor number one, that's when it's not transmitting, so we want to see somewhere around about two and a half volts right there. So we see both of them are at about 2.43, 2.42. Then on cursor two is where it's actually transmitting data, and it should go up by about a volt and down by about a volt on both lines. So we're seeing one and a half volts on the yellow line and 3.45 volts on the green line. So we're looking at about a volt in either direction. You want to make sure you don't see any weird noise, any weird fuzziness going on in the line. That could indicate uh, a bad module. Also, see where zero is way down here? Well, if you're down to zero volts, that's going to be a bad ground or a ground issue in one of your modules probably or in the line. And we could also be shorted to power. Five volts is well outside of the pattern. Twelve volts is right off the screen. So if we were shorted to power, that would be another thing that we would need to look at. So as you can see, this is a pretty easy way, pretty standard hookups, just hook right up and that'll help you diagnose any communication issues on these CAN vehicles.